I can't believe we're oh, doing Emily, this. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. I still can't believe I shot the religious guy. You know, I thought we'd be solving crimes and, you know, getting evidence. But nope, we're taking care of a baby. <laughs> Oops. How are you doing this? Shite. Oh, come on. I don't understand this. Ah, oh, press it like that. I'm just I was doing something stupid there. Oh. Good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right. Gently. Gently. <laughs> Don't, cr Don't go crazy for my PlayStation crashed there. Try again, oh. Private Eye. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, gently. We're gonna do this gently now. Gently. Fucking do it gently, Jamba. Come on, Jammy the Jamba, or Jammy One, whatever. Slow. Yes! I'm the man now! <sighs> Utter jamminess. I jam you to the world of jam! And other stuff with jam. What's this? Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. A cell phone? 
Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. So... Let's go get that cell phone. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Drawer, living room. There it is. Same make as the one Ethan's got. I believe. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. There's no SD card in it. Okay, I can't read his thought. Mm, yeah, I thought so. It wouldn't be a good idea to go back and ask. Let's just leave. Wasn't that epic of baby changing diapers? Is it garage? Charlie? Does it Charlie? What? Why does it rain so much? I wonder if the killer can control fire and make the air a dense and humid. Okay, city garage. Let's think. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Nothing. Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. Ah, look, guy. Excuse me. Hey. Oh. Ha. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can you didn't I do? Didn't hear you me for? either. I'd like to get my car. Hey, I've been you're here a before? pretty patient guy, you Don't are. Don't remember it. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Thanks. Third floor. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. 